The time is 11.19 a.m. Good morning, the news headline. Buhari has changed. APC not same. Party I criticized. Says Fanny Kayode. The news in full. Fanny. Femi Kayode meets the president, Mohamed Buhari, and APC National Caretaker Committee, Maimala Buni, on Thursday in Abuja. The news in full. I worked behind the scene to exit Umahi. Ayade. Matawale from PDP's claims win Makinde, Mohamed Uguay, Makinde not available for APC, is our shining star, PDP reply, re replies FFK. FFK's defection saddest day in my political career, says Buhari's political advisor. Former Advi aviation minister, Chief Femi Fani Kayode, popularly known as FFK, just today became the hottest topic in Nigeria's political cycle after his unexpected decision to pitch tents with the ruling All Progressive Congress APC, seven years after leaving the party to become a fierce critic of President Muhammad Buhari, though he had literally been skirting around some APC leaders, it was not anticipated he would make the bold vault face after his strident and scattering criticisms of the president and his party. But signs of his defection began to emerge last month when FFK made a spectacle of his appearance in Kanu State during the wedding of President Muhammad Buhari's son. This effectively set the template for his appearance yesterday at the State House, Abuja, when he was officially presented to President Muhammad Buhari as a member of the EPC. The former spokesman of the PDP Presidential Campaign Council was introduced to president by the governor of Yobe State and chairman of the APC National Caretaker Committee, Mai Malabuni, who was accompanied by his Zamfara State counterpart, Bilu Matawali. Fielding questions, Buni said, We are here to present our newest member of the party, Chief Femi Fani Kayode, to the president and leader of the party. President Buhari received him very well, and you know, Mr. President is a magnanimous leader who shares his vision with anybody who is looking towards a greater Nigeria. So he is happy and he received him very well. He commended his courage. Fanny Kayode, who explained that he had been a founding member of the APC, said he returned to the party for the unity and togetherness of the country. He further hinted that he was also working behind the scene to woo the governors of Oyo, Bauchi, and Enugu states, Sheyi Makinde, Bala Mohamed, and Ifai Ugwai, respectively, to dump the People's Democratic Party PDP and join the ruling APC. He said it was entirely the business those people who owed a not too pleasant opinion about his credibility because of his constant change of political affiliation. On why he jumped ship, Fanny Kayode said his decision was inched on the need to join other stakeholders in the country to build bridges in the midst of the prevailing palpable disharmony among citizens. On what he thinks will be the impression of his former party, PDP, following his decision, FFK said, well, that's left to them. I have many friends in the PDP. If you remember, in 2013, I was actually one of those that formed the APC. There were few issues, and I went back to PDP but I think it's an individual thing. As a party, of course, they may, they may not be too happy, but I have no enemies there, and I have nothing negative to say about the, anybody there. I believe in moving the country forward together with everybody that believes in Nigeria and wants Nigeria to progress. We must come together to make sure Nigeria is a better place, regardless of party affiliation. But whatever they say is entirely up to them. The PDP in Oyo State just today slammed Fanny Kayode for his claim of winning Governor Shi Makinde to join the APC. Publicity Secretary of PDP in the state, Hakim Olatunji, who spoke with The Guardian in Ibado, urged Fanny Kayode to look elsewhere, saying Makinde is not available. Olatunji then said nationally, Makinde is the selling point and the poster boy of the party. He added that Makinde is comfortable in PDP and cannot join the party that has inflicted pains on Nigerians. The PDP spokesperson said 
Mr. Fanny Coyote, though respected, is not a stable politician. He is a joker. Governor Mackinday is comfortable in PDP. He is a shining star and unique selling points nationally. Fanny Coyote should look elsewhere. The former minister should search his conscience. He is looking for soft landing for his past misdeeds and pecuniary gains. Governor Mackinday is not available. Special advisor to President Muhammad Buhari on political matters, Baba Femi Ujudu, described FFK's defection as the saddest day in his political career. He posted the message on Facebook as after FFK met his boss at Asso Rock and defected to the ruling party. This is the saddest day of my political career, Ujudu posted. Ujudu subsequently shared a precious vow by FFK that he would never join APC, adding that I prefer to die than joining APC. Appearing on channels television last night to further explain the reasons for his defection, Fanny Kayode said the party is different from what it used to be. While speaking on Channel's Politics Today program, he said the perception he had in the past was clearly wrong and hurt Nigerians to build bridges instead of throwing stones. He added that there are a lot of issues to be resolved in the PDP and he is waiting for the party to criticize his decision to move and give them an appropriate answer. Fanny Kayode added that the APC of the time he was criticizing President Buhari is different from what it is today, noting that the kind of leadership the party has today, led by the National Caretaker Committee, Boni, is doing exceptionally well in national issues. I wouldn't have joined them if the leadership hasn't changed. We can work together, we can build bridges. I have criticized the president in the past when I felt it was an appropriate thing to do. However, having moved closer to him over the last few months, I discovered a lot of things that I didn't know before. There is a lot going on behind the scene. And the most important thing is that I believe in a certain philosophy and I am getting positive responses when I act from within the family and ensure that change is being affected in terms of policies and, and in the way in which the country is run. Then I begin to think that is it not better for me and my country to ensure that we operate from within and effect the changes we